Many cats suffering from gastrointestinal disease may benefit from eating a GI diet. GI diets are therapeutic diets that are scientifically formulated to meet the special nutritional needs of cats with GI problems. There are a variety of different types of GI diets available commercially. These diets can be classified into three broad categories, highly digestible diets, novel and hydrolyzed protein diets, and modified fiber diets. If your cat is suffering from a GI illness, your veterinarian may recommend a therapeutic diet to help address your cat's underlying medical problem. To understand how these diets work, let's take a closer look at how they're formulated. Highly digestible diets are formulated utilizing highly digestible ingredients. These ingredients are designed to enhance nutrient absorption, helping to counteract the effects of intestinal damage present in many GI disorders. GI diets may also provide increased levels of dietary protein. Most cats with GI disease have an increased demand for dietary protein. In many GI conditions, large numbers of cells lining the intestines become damaged. Replacing these cells requires large amounts of protein and energy. GI diets are formulated with the appropriate protein sources to provide key amino acids necessary to support the body's repair mechanisms. Many GI diets also modify dietary carbohydrates. In many GI diseases, the intestinal villi responsible for the absorption of carbohydrates become damaged. This damage, coupled with altered digestive enzyme secretion, often results in reduced carbohydrate absorption. Undigested carbohydrates reaching the large intestine can lead to an overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria, resulting in diarrhea. To minimize this problem, some GI diets are formulated with restricted amounts of highly digestible carbohydrates, reducing the amount of undigested carbohydrates reaching the lower GI tract. Some feline GI diets provide a moderate amount of fat, allowing carbohydrates to be restricted while still maintaining an adequate amount of energy. Some enteric diets also include other beneficial ingredients, like omega-3 fatty acids derived from fish oils. Omega-3 fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties, which may help reduce the inflammation associated with many GI diseases. Additionally, prebiotics are sometimes added to GI diets. Prebiotics are soluble dietary fibers that promote the growth of beneficial bacteria within the intestines. Prebiotics and healthy intestinal bacteria may also bind harmful toxic bile salts within the intestines and produce beneficial short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids provide an important source of energy for intestinal cells and help to stimulate the growth and proliferation of healthy intestinal cells within the large intestine. Highly digestible diets are commonly used to help manage a variety of upper GI disorders, including diseases associated with vomiting and small intestinal diarrhea. Novel and hydrolyzed protein diets are a special category of GI diets. These diets also utilize highly digestible ingredients, but in addition, they provide very specialized forms of dietary protein. In some cases, your veterinarian may recommend a hydrolyzed protein diet. These diets are manufactured by breaking down dietary proteins into very small molecular fragments, reducing their potential to trigger an allergic reaction caused by a hypersensitivity to the food. Novel protein diets are made from a single source of protein. So when we use a novel protein diet, we like to use a source for the cat that the cat has probably not seen before, something like venison, occasionally rabbit, duck. Things are not traditionally in pet foods. Novel protein diets are commonly used to diagnose and treat cats with conditions associated with food hypersensitivities.
Modified fiber diets are a special category of GI diet, characterized by increased levels of insoluble and soluble fiber. Insoluble fiber cannot be digested by the cat, but once in the colon, helps to give solid form to the feces of cats with diarrhea. Soluble fiber promotes the production of short-chain fatty acids, which nourish the damaged cells of the colon. Fiber also contributes to a lowering of the pH in the colon, which can inhibit pathogenic bacteria. Modified fiber diets are sometimes used to treat certain types of diseases affecting the colon. As you can see, GI diets have many uses. If your cat is suffering from GI disease, your veterinarian may recommend one of these three types of diets. GI diets are sometimes fed on a short-term basis to decrease the severity and duration of acute disease. In more chronic GI disease, these diets can provide long-term support for the GI tract. There are a number of different GI diets that are available commercially for cats. Your veterinarian will help you determine which one is appropriate to help manage your cat's medical condition.